let b be a basis for polynomials p sub 2, and let vector p of t be defined as 3 plus t minus 6t squared. And we want to find the coordinates of vector p relative to our basis b. All right, so what exactly do we want here? We want to find the coordinates of vector p relative to our basis b, and we'll say that's our column vector of weights c sub 1 through c sub 3, such that c sub 1 times vector b sub 1 plus c sub 2 times vector b sub 2 plus c sub 3 times vector b sub 3 is equal to this vector p. So we need to define the vectors in our basis here. We need to convert each one of these polynomials to the vectors b sub 1, b sub 2, b sub 3. And we also need to go ahead and rewrite this given polynomial as a column vector. So let's do that first. So we want to rewrite each polynomial as a column vector. So let's think about the polynomials in our basis first. So we have 1 minus t squared. And so we can say that vector b sub 1 is defined here as the coefficients of this polynomial. 1, 0, negative 1. The second polynomial in our basis is t minus t squared. So we can see that vector b sub 2 is the vector defined by the coefficients 0, 1, minus 1. And last but not least, we have 2 minus 2t two plus t squared, which gives us that vector b sub 3, again, using our our coefficients here, we have 2, negative 2, 1. So these three vectors are the vectors in our basis, and we can use these three vectors here to define the change of coordinates matrix. Matrix P sub B. Because again, we're going to want to rewrite this vector equation as an augmented matrix to solve to find p. So we can say, again, matrix p sub b is defined as the, or defined by the column vectors b sub 1, b sub 2, b sub 3. And so using what we just defined, we have the 3 by 3 matrix, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 2, negative 2, 1. So there is the change of coordinates matrix P. And so now, in addition to this, we want to go ahead and rewrite our polynomial P of T, as, which is defined as 3 plus T minus 6T squared. And we can convert this to the column vector 3, 1, negative 6. So we now have everything we need to create that augmented matrix that we will then use to find the coordinates vector. So we'll again keep in mind here that we know our vector equation, c sub 1 times vector b sub 1, plus c sub 2 times vector b sub 2, plus c sub 3 times vector b sub 3, which we're defining, or setting equal to our polynomial vector p. And we know that our vector equation is equivalent to the matrix equation, b sub 1, b sub 2, b sub 3, that change of coordinates matrix, multiplied by the vector of coefficients, c sub 1, c sub 2, c sub 3, that's what we want, is equal to vector p. So we'll use this matrix equation to create the augmented matrix and then solve by row reducing to row reduced echelon form. And we'll give ourselves plenty of room here. So we're ready to row reduce our augmented matrix B sub 1, B sub 2, B sub 3 with vector P to row reduced echelon form. 
And so using those, or using the change of coordinates matrix, we have 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 2, negative 2, 1, and we're augmenting this with vector p, which will be defined as 3, 1, minus 6. All right, so looking at our first pivot here, we want to eliminate the entry below it. So we simply need to add the first row to the third row to attain that new third row. And so this is equivalent to the augmented matrix 1, 0, 2, 3, 0, 1, negative 2, 1, and then 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 minus 1 is minus 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, and then 3 minus 6 is negative 3. And our first column is all set. So moving to our second pivot position, we want to eliminate the entry below it. So to do that, we simply need to add the second row to the third row to get that new third row. And so this is equivalent to the augmented matrix 1, 0, 2, 3, 0, 1, negative 2, 1, and then 0, 0, 1, minus 2. And our second column is all set now. So we have our third and final pivot, and we want to use this to eliminate the entries above it. So we'll do two steps here. We need minus 2 times the third row plus the first row to attain the new first row. And then we'll need to do positive 2 times the third row plus the second row to attain the new second row. And so this will be equivalent to the matrix. So we have 1, 0, 0, and then positive 4 plus 3 is 7. And then we have 0, 1, 0. So then negative 4 plus 1 is minus 3. And our third row is remains the same, 0, 0, 1, minus 2. And so this lets us know that C sub 1 is 7, C sub 2 is minus 3, and C sub 3 is negative 2, which are the coordinates of the coordinate vector. So therefore, the coordinates of vector P relative to basis B is the column vector 7, negative 3, minus 2. And this is our beautiful final answer.